Welcome back to another episode on Whip Media TV. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Whip Media Mickey. And on today's episode, we're talking about Nike Sue's designer Cool Kai and Ami for trademark infringement. See, Nike has filed a trademark infringement lawsuit against two popular sneaker designers and the manufacturer of their footwear. The swoosh filed yesterday in the Southern District of New York a lawsuit that spans six different complaints. Nike says defendants Nick One Avenger and David Weeks of Bai Kai LLC, aka Cool Kai and Bill Omar of Reloaded Merch LLC, Ami aka Ami and the Hellcat have been promoting, copying and selling Nike's designs, namely the Air Jordan 1 and Dunk as their own. See, Nike's lawyers say they notify Kai of alleged infringement on August 6th of 2021. They also contacted Omni on October 5th, 2002 with a similar warning. Documents sent to Omni, which was viewed by Complex, stated the brand had one week to contact Nike's lawyers to discuss the matter or that it would face a federal lawsuit despite these advanced warnings. Yesterday's lawsuit alleges that both Kai and Omni have continued to profit off of the infringing designs. In the lawsuit, Nike also takes aim at China-based manufacturer Eisman Wandering Planet Import and Export Code LTD. Filing states that Wandering Planet played a pivotal role in the infringement by providing the resources to produce shoes for Kai and Ami. By supplying Kai and Ami with knockoff sneakers using Nike's registered Air Jordan 1 and Dunk Trade dress, Wandering Planet knowingly participated in the scheme to intentionally create confusion in the marketplace and capitalize on it, the lawsuit reads. Several side-by-side -side comparisons between actual Nike products and Kai and Omni's designs are alliterated throughout the documents, as are examples from social media posts from confused consumers. Cool Kai took whole Jordan 1 design, reads one of the comments. These are Jordans, reads another. Along with the trademark infringement, Nike says that Kai and Omni's designs are also grounds for counts of false designation of origin, unfair competition, and trademark delusion. The Swoosh's lawyers argue that the alleged knockoff sneakers are likely to confuse consumers about the origin of the products and Nike's connection to them, especially on the secondary market where it highlights examples of resellers using variations of the Air Jordan 1 name of advertised Kai's products. It highlights examples of resellers using variations of the Air Jordan 1 name to advertise Kai's products. See, Kai and Omni had a public disagreement of their own last year. According to Omni, the two competing designers had it falling out over their manufacturer. I told him to listen. If you don't call back the manufacturer, I'm going to release your shoe for cheaper, Omni said. So what I did was I took the shoe, I took the brand, and ran with it. It worked out for both of us, honestly, because we we're both kind of popping off it. Among its requests, Nike's asking that the court block any further production and advertisement of the infringing sneakers. It also asks that the defendants provide any and all product packaging and promotional materials to be sent to Nike for destruction. Like I always say, Vibe Tribe, you know, it's the difference between, be, you know, being a fashion designer or a sneaker designer and actually, you know, creating a shoe brand like a Nike Adidas. They're two different lanes and sometimes people get caught up in the designing area, You're designing on a product that was already made. In order for you to, um, you know, own your own sneaker, to design on it, you can't take from what's already out there. You have to create it from scratch. Until next time, Mickey made it.